All right, sit back, relax, and uh, enjoy this run cam scope cam review. I've been waiting for a camera like this for so long. Upgrading from a customized Mobius action camera. I ordered this the day it was available on the run cam website, which was international shipping to Canada. And when it arrived, I was like, uh-oh. Why the f is it already opened? Oh gosh, please uh -huh. be in here, please be. Oh, sweet. Okay. Thankfully, that box was all the jingling noises that I thought was a broken camera. But now it's looking all good. Uh, the bottom here is where you get uh, your extra batteries if you bought them, but I plan on running this on a battery pack. And the manual shows you the uh, buttons here. Check them out. And all the basic modes of operation. We'll fly through those. You can pause if you want to read. Now we'll check out the construction of the body. You can configure the lens to film vertically or horizontally depending on how you want to mount the camera. And you can see a layer of protective glass in front of the lens. That's a convenience I don't mind at all. All the connections and the ports are on the back, the buttons are on the top, and the rail is on the bottom. It's really fast to attach. It's a quick screw. Uh, but anyway, speaking of screws, there's a special screwdriver that comes with this that you would use to remove that screw and then you twist the lens to vertical if you wanted to film vertical. Er, yeah. You also have a little lens cap here. Don't forget to remove it when you're going to play your games or film because, yeah, you're not going to film anything. All right, let's see what's in the box. I'm sorry I already gave away the screwdriver. I'm sure you realize that's in there. All right, that bag looks like the barrel mount for it. I'll show you that in a second. What else we got in here? All right, cables. This is a cable to something cool that I don't think I'll use. USB to something. <laughs> uh, it's probably RC related. Um, this is the USB cable, 90 degree angle. Didn't think I'd use it, but actually I think I might. It's kind of, it's about a foot long, maybe. Another awesome thing that comes with it is in this bag, which is a barrel mounted Picatinny mount. This thing is perfect for a sniper rifle. You basically just take the bottom half and the top half and screw them together. It's friggin' sweet. Now it comes with these little spacers just in case you want to put it on a different part of your barrel because yeah. some barrels are bigger, some are smaller, and some aren't the same size all the way down, like my barrel <laughs> on my TM VSR-10. All right, so that's what's in the box, and now let's see how this thing works. So, first things first. Make sure that it is charged and you have an SD card in there because when you try to demo it like this, it's going to start doing real funky stuff. You're not going to know what's going to go on. You're going to see green lights. You're going to go, what? I've never seen a green light before. Then you're going to see like a red and blue light. You're going to be like, wait a second. What's up with this? And then you remember, oh, is there a card in there? And this is where you put the card. You do bottom facing up on the camera and you just kind of press it in and it's spring loaded. Once it's in there, you can put the back back on it. And I've configured mine so when I turn it on, it automatically just starts filming. And what you should see is this. A solid light and then flashing. Come on, baby. There we go. <laughs> so now it's recording. You can figure it with a mobile device, but you got to turn the Wi-Fi on by pressing this button with all the lines on it. Once it's on, it'll flash a blue light on the left, and that's when you know it's broadcasting. Then you go to your phone, and you connect your phone to its Wi-Fi. Then you use the app that you downloaded to connect it to the camera itself, which gives you then a display so you can look through the view of the camera and configure it the way you want. The instructions are on their website, so I suggest you check them out. Now for my VSR-10, I used that barrel mount it came with to put it right about there. Uh, it's just four screws. I filled the distance with tape, basically because the barrel's not the same width the whole way down, so I just used tape. It worked out. So as you can see here, I'll just speed it up a bit, but it's super easy to attach. Uh, you just throw it on the rail, and then I attach the battery, just like so. Now here it is going on my VR-16, but I, I know what you're all wondering. Can that protective glass really take a BB hit? Let's, let's use a... Uh, little device I have to send us into the future. Let's find out if this thing can take a son of a... Well, as you can see here, it cannot take a BB hit very well, but that is the outside glass, and that's about 1 to 1.5 joules of energy that it smashed. So, abracadabra, I ordered some new parts from uh, Runcam. I get four new lenses. The shipping was more than the lenses were. They were $9.99 for two, so I bought two sets, so I got four lenses just in case. Gotta say I was pretty impressed. They're not too bad at all. They have a little adhesive around the edges that are covered by plastic, so you're just gonna peel the plastic off and literally just stick the lens back on. Uh, the first step though is to clean out the old lens that's shattered, so that's my next step. 
Now, I was fully expecting to have to remove that screw in order to get this lens off, but literally it just twists. Now, once it pops off, you're going to want to clean off any excess glass that was in there. Uh, I recommend gloves and not using your fingers like I did. <laughs> you want to blow some air in there and stuff, but once it's clean, you're going to want to focus then on the lens cap and get this glass out of here. What I did is I grabbed that screwdriver and I'm just going to use it to peel the glass out. Now once you can get a hold of that ring, it'll all just peel right off, which is kind of nice. Well, most of it. <laughs> Alright, I've got most of the stuff out there. There's a little bit of adhesive left, but whatever. I'm going to get one of the extra lenses and peel the plastic off and just line it up with the hole and stick it in. Perfect. All right, once that's done, you're just going to slide the cap back on, screw it back together, and we're ready to rock again. I probably could have done this fix in the field. That's, uh, that's promising. I like that. All right, lastly, I'm going to add that camo tape just to break up the color a bit, and I'm sure you're eager to see some footage from this thing. So I grabbed some footage from the games. Some is some old footage, some is some new footage. The difference is, is the old footage is different software, and you couldn't change the settings, and the new footage is newer software where you can actually change the settings. So here's the old style, and it's a little darker, but it's not too bad. This is a bolt-action sniper rifle shooting, so it's a little smoother. There's no stabilization on this camera, I found. Uh, but here's with an AEG VR16. Yeah, baby! It's a little bumpier, a little brighter now with the new software, but you can change those settings to darken it up. I just haven't fiddled with that. But anyways, I love this camera. I highly recommend it. Thanks for watching this review, and I hope you enjoyed it. Bye for now.